Tony, thank you so much. Joining me this morning is the world's only paraplegic hot air balloon pilot, Michael Glenn. I had the pleasure of talking with you the other day. Thank you so much for coming by Th this thanks morning. Thanks for having us. Now, you didn't get to go up the past couple of days because Tony couldn't turn the wind down. But we get a chance to see you and your balloon this weekend a couple yeah, it's, times. Yes, uh, Friday night at the Discovery Center, we will be setting the balloons up about sunset. So I think that's out here about 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm here from Phoenix, so I'm, my, time dif my time is a little bit different for you guys. Right. Um, and then Saturday morning out at High Plains Children's Home. And Sunday morning, we'll be flying out of Palo Duro Canyon. Now, Mr. Burgess, you've been helping Michael for quite a while get his balloon up off the ground. Well, you know, First Capital Bank's very happy to be able to help support Michael and bring him here and uh, with Family Care Foundation Discovery Center. Uh, Michael's been doing a great job with the kids at the schools all this week, and uh, we've been fortunate to have members of our bank to go and, and assist on some of the crews. And he just does a great job. The kids are excited and, and really enjoy what he's doing. I got the opportunity to hear you speak on Monday. Yeah. You have a powerful message that you carry with you to all these kids. Yeah, I, I, the one that, uh, become, when I became the first paraplegic pilot, I decided I want to do good with it. And I wanted to talk to kids about wearing your seatbelt, because I wasn't wearing a seatbelt when my accident happened. Mm -hmm. And I was ejected from a car doing about 55 miles per hour. It left me paralyzed from the waist down. So I just wanted to try to uh, hopefully inspire at least some kids, all kids out there to wear their seatbelt, but also about achieving your dreams, reaching for your goals, and not letting anything ever hold you back. And you have a really unique balloon as well. Kind of describe that yeah, for Yeah, my us. basket looks a little bit different. It looks like a ski lift. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm basically sitting out there in the open. I, I tell people I don't fly my balloon any different, but I have to do it sitting down. Well, you have an amazing message. Those kids certainly love you. They're a little scared yeah. of the fire, but well, <laughs> they always, like it. I always say, I, you know, they, they'll always remember it because who else gets to bring, bring a breathing dragon to school with a big old fire flame above it? That's so. right. And you've got some big goals, too. You want to fly in all 50, 50 states. states. Yeah, I've flown in 23 states so far, and I want to continue hitting them all. So. Well, how neat. Well, again, we have a couple opportunities as the public to see Michael and see other balloons for free this weekend. There's some events on Friday. There's a balloon glow. Yeah, the balloon glow on Friday, and that's where we set up the balloons, and it gl glows like a candle light bulb. Okay. Basically, is uh, like a candle light, a Christmas light bulb. Sorry. It's okay. Too early in the morning. I know. And then Saturday <laughs> morning we fly, and Sunday morning we fly uh, High Plains Children Home, and then Sunday out of Palo Duro Canyon, which is. One of the main reasons a lot of us pilots love to come here, I got the chance to do it last year, and it's an amazing experience. It's a gorgeous experience. What does it mean for you to be able to be a part of this and to bring these unique balloons to Amarillo? Well, I think for us, it's, it's a chance just to, again, be able to uh, do some community uh, support and, and to bring someone like Michael in to really uh, help our kids. You know, it's exciting mm -hmm. to, uh, for them to be able to meet Michael and see what he does. Balloons are an exciting thing that they don't always get to see. It's just a, a great time, and Michael gives a very inspirational message. So that's it. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for well, stopping by. Thanks so much by. for having us. We appreciate it. We'll be right back. We've got more coming up for you right after the break.